my channel. So today's video is going to be another colorful, affordable makeup tutorial. I wanted to incorporate color in a way that you guys could go out and buy the products or if you already have the products or afford the products because I know sometimes a lot of people use, um, when they do colorful looks, they use a lot more high-end and more, um, more expensive products. So I'm going to show you guys that you can get colorful looks on a budget. So for this look, I did end up busting out my BH Cosmetics 120 palette. You guys know, this is the first edition, and you guys know I've had this palette for probably about, oh my gosh, since I was like a sophomore in high school. So since I was 16, and I am 23 now, so it's about seven years, almost eight years, and yeah, that's a long time, you guys. So this palette, I have not replaced. I've just kept dabbling into it, um, and I feel like the colors still work for me. As long as you prime your eyelids and you continue to go over these colors until you get the most vibrancy and the most pigmentation that you want, you will be able to get, uh, create a look just like this, and your colors will turn out just as vibrant as mine. My earring just fell. What the fuck? So as I mentioned, just prime your lids. My favorite primer is the Urban Decay um, and, uh, Urban Decay Primer Potion. I love that one for just a regular primer. Concealer always works really well, but when I go in with color, I usually use a translu translucent or a clear excuse me, primer, just because I don't want the um, concealer color to kind of um, alter the color of the eyeshadow or anything like that. And then and then 9 times out of 10, I go in with my NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil and Milk, and I use that to go over wherever I want the most vibrant eyeshadow to pop. So usually that's my lid, so I always go over my lid with the Jumbo Eye Pencil and Milk or just a white eyeshadow base by NYX also. You just use a white eyeshadow base to really make that eyeshadow pop. And once again, using a flat brush that you can pack on a lot of that pigment and that eyeshadow on, and then your eyeshadows will be very vibrant and very colorful. So this little mermaid. I guess you can say green teal purple mermaid look with glitter liner is what I came up with today I've really been feeling color especially since my background is so colorful and just vibrant and just like ah so I will probably continue to play with colors I also have a um soror a black Greek sorority series that I want to start so if you are um uh in a sorority or anything like that give me some ideas I have the four black ones that um, I know of that I researched. I have those. Um, I think it's AKA, Delta, Sigma Gamma Rho, and Zeta Phi Beta or something like that. I have those four. Um, so if you have any suggestions on those, I would love to hear those just because I need more ideas. I don't really know how I want to incorporate those colors, but that is what's coming up next. So also leave me more suggestions down below on what else you guys would like to see. I love hearing what else you guys want to see on my channel and from me personally. So yeah, I'm going to be done. I hope you all enjoyed the video. I love you all so much. Have a great day and I will see you guys in the next one. Mwah. Bye guys welcome back so to get started my lids are already primed I'm gonna go in with the Sigma E35 blending brush with a coastal scent eyeshadow this is in harvest brown the only reason I've been using this lately is because it's just the most muted kind of skin tone natural like eyeshadow and it doesn't overpower my shadows so next I'm going into the BH Cosmetics 120 eyeshadow palette and I'm taking this lighter purple shade out of the palette and I am using a Sigma I believe this is the E40. It's a really like, it's really dense, you guys. It's not as fluffy as the E40 brushes used to be. So I'm just applying that into the crease. This is gonna be my bridge shade between the transition shade and then the deeper shade that I applied next. So next I am taking the darker purple, which is right next to that shade in this first edition palette. And I'm taking an E25 blending brush. Once again, it's a more firm E25 blending brush before they, um, or after they repackaged and remodeled the shades. but. Anyways, I'm just adding that into the crease just to deepen and darken the look. And then I take my NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in the shade Milk and I use that and put that all over my lid. This is how I get my shadows very vibrant and very pigmented. As I mentioned in the beginning of the video, you can use this base all over if you really want your crease shades to pop. But I really wanted the lid shades to stand out as opposed to the whole look and the, and the purple and everything. So I'm, I didn't really worry about that. But after smoothing that out and everything, I went ahead and packed on this lime green shade out of the palette and I'm using a Sigma I believe it's an E58 um, shader brush it's just a really firm dense brush and just pack that all over the lid 
And then after I am done packing on all of that green, I just flip the brush over and I use the teal shade, which is out of the same palette. And I just once again pack that all over the lid. I pack that out into the outer V or outer corner. Um, I did the first half, the lime green, then the second half, this teal shade. And then I start to merge the two and start to blend the two. Also going back into that deep dark purple and using that out into the outer corner and also into the crease and using that to blend that shade out so next I'm using a NYX crystal liner this is in the shade crystal and I am using that to be my adhesive and my base for my glitter and then I take this lime green glitter I did get this from like Walmart or something like that it is craft glitter so if you don't feel comfortable using craft glitter on your eyes be, by all means don't do it because I used it. <laughs> Next, I use the same glitter liner and just apply that right over the top where my crease and my lid meet. <coughs> Excuse me. And then I take another teal glitter as well that um, I'm sure my stepmom got from, you know, either a nail shop or something like that. I'm not sure. I use that all over my lid and then I use the same brush and I just flip them over just to smooth out and, and brush away any glitter that fell onto the lid. And then I go ahead and tight line my upper lash line just so no skin is peeking through. And then I line my upper lid with some liner and I'm using my NYX matte liquid liner and this is like my holy grail now especially since i can't find the nyc black liquid eyeliner anywhere this is what i go to now and especially since that walgreens i can use my points and my coupons and everything like that so after that i'm using my soap and glory kick ass super blur primer and i just smooth that all over my skin once again you can find soap and glory at your local walgreens if they are a beauty differentiated store more stores would become beauty differentiated um, this summer so you might not have it now but by the end of the summer your store might have it and then for foundation I use my LA Girl Pro Coverage um, HD foundation in the shade uh, cappuccino I believe or toffee or cocoa coffee oh my gosh you guys I just don't know anything today uh, or this morning but I'm blending that in with my beauty blender and just pouncing this all over into the skin and then I am going in with my LA Girl Pro Conceal this is in the shade Bond. I haven't used my LA Girl Pro Concealer in so long and I forgot how like like how intense and how pigmented it is you really don't need as much concealer as I'm applying I actually applied way too much you guys you just need like a tiny swipe and it'll probably do your entire under eye and then I just blend that out with my beauty blender and Jack was going back to work so I had to say goodbye and then to set that I use my airspun loose face powder in the shade translucent extra coverage I really don't like using translucent powders underneath of my eyes or on my face just because I am a brown girl so I feel like they just kind of give me a little powdery cast but I don't have a banana a banana e shade from the drugstore. So for contouring, I'm using my Black Radiance Contour Palette with my It Cosmetics brush. This is actually a foundation and concealer brush, but this brush works so good, you guys, for contouring. Like it was so smooth and just so like I don't know. It just it was just really nice. So after I contoured the perimeter of my face, I apply some Mac blush. This is Gleeful, and I'm using a pretty bar blush brush to do so and then I just go back up and contour my nose the nose always has to be snatched you guys already know so after that I just go ahead and highlight my face and I'm using my city color cosmetics this is a highlight trio and I'm using the one to the far 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 left and then I just highlight my cheekbones I'm using a BH cosmetics fan brush and just to you know hit the high points of my skin and then I do take a smaller detailed brush like a inner corner brush and I use that to excuse me do the tip and the bridge of my nose so that way that is highlighted as well and then I go ahead and apply a white shimmery shade out of the palette into the inner corner I do wipe off my brush in between doing the nose and the inner corner just because I want this white to be really vibrant and true like a true white shade so after I apply that I go ahead and apply some liner to my lower lash line this is a NYX slide on glide on pencil in the shade pretty violet it is way darker then the kind of fuchsia y purpley shade that I did apply on my um, upper upper crease area, but nonetheless it still looked really good. So then I am using those two purple shades once again just to smoke out the lower lash line. And now I'm spraying my Mario Badescu facial spray all over my face just to kind of refresh and make sure everything is molded together. And then for lips, I am using a clean color lip liner. I get clean color from my local beauty supply store. They're like 99 cents and I have like almost every single color because these are like some of the best lip liners you can get on a budget. And then I use a Revlon lipstick. This is in the shade Brazilian Tan. 
oh my gosh you guys if you guys need a pretty natural nude lip color ah, go buy this this is like I'm obsessed with this lip color so after that I wanted it to be a little bit lighter in the center of my lips so I used a NYX intense butter gloss in the shade cookie butter and that just added like a little bit more dimension to my lips and just added a little more like pouty kind of look. So after that, that wraps up my video. I hope you all enjoy. If you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.